Good morning and happy Thursday. It is Thursday, September 23rd. I thought let's do a little office vlog today. I just got to the office. I have some coffee making. You might be able to hear the coffee maker in the background. So yeah, I thought I'll share a little bit of what I've been working on today. I have some orders to pack, a couple of things to get done around here. So I thought let's make this the vlog today might be kind of a shorter one, <laughs> but I thought at least I could share what I've been working on and show you all some yarn for socks that I am going to probably cast on today. It will depend because I am not letting myself cast them on until I finish a pair. So let me grab the pair that I'm trying to finish and show you those. The socks that I am hoping to finish today Are, I have one done. Everything's a mess in this bag. These are the All Hallows Eve socks. Um, that's the colorway name. The yarn is by Blue Water Yarns. It is an alpaca blend. And I love how these have worked up. So that's sock number one. I am on sock number two. And I have picked up the gusset stitches and done a couple of rounds um, of gusset decreases. So. They're getting there. Obviously I have a whole foot to do today, but I can, I can do that. So we'll see if I have the time is the thing. <laughs> I have my crazy sock lady progress keeper on there. Fangirl fibers makes these for me for the shop. And I do have some of these in stock right now at Crazy Sock Lady Co. They're so sweet and they're so lightweight. I love them. So these are what I'm trying to finish so that I can cast on the can't remember the name autumn crush by twin stitches designs who is julie i put a poll in my instagram yesterday and i haven't checked it today so hopefully it did not change so i couldn't decide what yarn no it didn't change i couldn't decide what yarn i wanted to use i had put let me show you the picture those were the two choices. I got these at Kentucky, the fiber festival that Carrie and I went to. These were on the Yarn Birds truck. And I picked up both of them. And I couldn't decide which one I wanted to use for Autumn Crush. Autumn Crush, let me show you the picture of that design. Oh, I love those cables and the cables go up into the ribbing as well. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful sock pattern. And I really want to do it for my mother-in-law. I think that she would love them. And I think she would have loved either of these yarns. So I had the poll up to see which one because I could not decide. And this is the one that won. It is I'm pretty sure there's two names on here. So I think this is gray October and this must be midnight. This is autumn and indigo fibers. They're classic sock set, 75% superwash merino wool, 25% nylon, uh, 100 gram skein, and then a 20 gram mini skein. Very, very pretty. So these, this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to cake it up today. I brought it from home. I had this at home um, so that I can cake it up. And then as soon as I finish these, I'm going to cast it on. Partly because, well, I think I do have a couple of chowgu needles that are empty for socks, but most of my needles are full. I have so many socks right now cast on. So I'm like, no, you have to finish this pair before you can start another pair. I did start, I shared this on Instagram. I have it in a Hocus Pocus bag from Midwest Stitches. This is my on the go knitting right now. It's living in my purse um, because it is a drawstring and right now I just feel like with the puppy, he, can, he like loves to like mess around with my project bags in the living room. So drawstring is my, like stays in my purse that he cannot get into because I usually have it up where you can't get it. And um, 
this is my on the go knitting i cast on the gaddy yarn co hocus pocus sock set that i had i had these in the shop and i will have more i've ordered more i had so many questions so i ordered more hocus pocus jack and sally and practical magic so more of those will be coming to the shop it is stunning so there's a mini skein and a full skein I mean it is beautiful so I did cast these on and I have gotten a little bit done I worked on it in the office the other day through the cuff and then I did just a little bit um, when Eric and I went on date night the other night like after we were done eating and just sitting at the restaurant I knit just a little bit so I did I have been doing the pop of collar, like the contrast collar on the cuff for a little while. Normally I cast on and do two rounds with the contrast. This time I cast on and did five rounds. And then I did 20 rounds of ribbing in the main collar. So I have a 25 round cuff, which is five rounds longer than I normally do, but I was just kind of, I don't know, I really wanted to do a longer cuff. So that is another, whip right now oh my gosh there's seriously so many you guys it's getting a little ridiculous and <laughs> i need to really focus on getting some things off the needles i say as i'm going to cake up yarn to cast on new socks because right now just in this bag alone i have or just here today with me one two three four five six sock whips i say do what you want though and they're all bringing me joy right now. So it's fine. But I am preparing for the Stephen West mystery knit along. I did get my kit from Mandy's Makings. I have it. I'm not going to get it out just right now. Maybe later on this vlog or you guys will see it next week when I go through mail on the regular episode. That starts October 8th. I would kind of like to have at least one of my sweaters done and a couple more sock whips done before I start that because that's gonna take up a lot of time if it's anything like last year, if I'm going to even somewhat keep up with it, which I would like to. Okay, my coffee has been done for a bit now, <laughs> but I just wanted to share with you a couple of things I'm working on. Maybe I'll share more as we go throughout the day. And I think I'm gonna have some coffee, knit on this for a bit and then package some orders and probably a couple of, um, more than a couple, summer sock camp prizes. I've had quite a few people contact me, so thank you guys so much for um, watching the video if you participated in camp to see if you won anything. That video, I'll link it. If I think you can only see those links if you're on mobile devices, maybe, I don't really know. But I'll put the link up at the top and then I'll also link it down below and you can find it just at the Crazy Sock Lady YouTube channel, the video announcing Summer Sock Camp prize winners. If you participated and you haven't watched yet, please watch to see if you won anything. I announced the Ravelry winners as well as the Instagram winners and you only have one month from the date that the video went up, which I think it went up on September 17th. So you only have until October 17th, the end of the day that day to contact me or I will be redrawing winners um, for your prize. So make sure you watch, you follow the instructions for how to get in touch with me um, to claim your prize. But like I said, a lot of people have gotten in touch with me, so it's been great. Um, it is, I so enjoy the knit alongs and I so enjoy getting to give away all the prizes, but it is, especially when you have a knit along that large, it's a lot of work. For most any knit along, it's a lot of work to draw the prize winners, coordinate the prizes if you have like, pattern prizes to you know you have to get in touch with a designer give them the information for who won their patterns what pattern they want if it's a you know winner's choice it's just a lot of like behind the scenes coordinating things that I don't think some people really think about um and then shipping out all of the prizes I have 74 prizes that I am shipping out <laughs> that's insane myself that I'm paying for the shipping I'm shipping them um 
So yeah, it is, it's a lot of behind the scenes. It takes quite a bit, especially, like I said, summer saw camp was so huge. So it definitely takes a bit of time to go through everything and get it all done. Even if I had someone helping, it would still take, you know, a while to get it all done. So I appreciate everyone's patience um, with me getting the video up and then, you know, it taking a couple of weeks to get all of the prizes um, shipped out as I get all of the information from the winners. But okay, coffee, knitting for just a smidge, just a smidge of time and then I'm gonna get to work. <laughs> oh, there's nothing better than like a nice warm cup of coffee on a cold day. I forgot to mention that it's so cold this morning and it's so nice. My car said it was 48. I love it. I forgot my coffee mug this morning though. Thankfully I have these on hand for like emergencies or if someone is here helping or something so that um, they can have a cup, but um, they are recyclable, so don't worry, but <laughs> uh, yeah, I forgot my mug. I don't have a sink to wash dishes, so I've been bringing one back and forth and I forgot one. Okay, coffee is just about gone. I finished the gusset decreases. I definitely think I'll have these done today. It might not be until this evening because I do have some work to get done today, but I for sure think this pair will be done today. I've got my markers here. I have a video um, here on YouTube explaining these, but I move them over as I go and it really helps me feel like Okay, you're almost there, you're almost there, <laughs> as I move one over from the finished sock to the sock in progress. Um, that just helps me keep track of keeping them matching. I explain it all on the tutorial, but yeah, that's done. Time to go pack some orders and summer sock camp prizes. I have a couple of lights out, <laughs> two in here and one in the processing room, so I need to figure out if that's something that the building maintenance handles. I would imagine it is. Um, they just like went out all at the same time. <laughs> it's weird. I have packing slips printing. I did get my computer cart. Look at that. It makes me feel very professional. I don't know why, but it has been a game changer um, for packing orders. I can move it around. It has wheels so I can move it around wherever I need to yarn in the shop. Let's look at all this stuff that is in the shop. Some of this has sold out, like the Gaddy yarn, um, but I'll be restocking that as soon as I have it. She does have to dye it all up for me, but now this is everything that went in the shop this week. So much good stuff. And then I do have Two more boxes right here that were delivered, one yesterday and one the day before. I brought them in this morning. One is a restock of Sock Turnal. That'll be going in the shop next week. And then also um, restocking some needles, some eucalyn, different things um, is what's in the other box. So all of that'll be going in the shop probably next week since today's Thursday. I'll just inventory and restock those probably Monday or Tuesday because I do get to be in the office five days a week next week, which will be nice. I'm looking forward to it. So that is what is in the shop right now. Restocked some, oh, I do have, sorry, I don't know if the printer is gonna be super loud on the video. I restocked the sock blocker progress keepers with a lobster clasp. And then we do have, Crazy Sock Lady enamel pins. Sorry for the glare, that one is not mine, so I don't want to open the packaging. 
but we have crazy suckly enamel pins and they are actually a seconds sale so there are minor imperfections on them so they are a seconds sale so you can find those on a shop the what's left very limited amount of somersault camp progress keepers and enamel pins those are on sale as well so a couple of sale items in the shop first items i've put on sale in there printers done i always like to do a handwritten note camera's crooked handwritten note just to thank you nothing crazy on all of my packing slips which may sound kind of crazy but I started doing it from the get-go and I don't know I just can't stop doing it because I love it just that little extra touch so much um, so yeah let's grab these and I'm gonna get to doing my notes All right, I am almost done packing orders. I just had some lunch, I'm drinking some water. One of my Crazy Sock Lady stainless tumbler, which we do still have some of these in the shop. I'm gonna knit for just a little bit. I've started around, but then I had to answer an email one of Wyatt's teachers sent. So I'm gonna knit just a couple of rounds while I finish my water and then go finish orders. I think I only have like five, six-ish left to do. Then I'm gonna pack some camp prizes. It's noon right now, so I've been packing orders since about nine. I think that's when I started. Do some summer sock camp prizes. I'm trying to split them up so I'm not doing them all at once one day because I do have other, you know, work things and things to do. But I'm going to split them up over the next couple of weeks. Do some each day and get them all out the door for the people who have contacted me so far. So, yeah, I'm going to find something to watch. I've been listening to. Oh my gosh, I don't want to get the name wrong. The Rules of Magic by Alice Hoffman while I've been packing orders. I started listening to this quite a while back <laughs> and then kind of forgot about it, honestly. Just wasn't really turning it on to listen to. So I started it back up again. I am... Oh, it's not telling me gave me a percentage earlier, but it's not giving that to me now. Um, so I have no idea how far I am. I think I'm on part three. But I'm gonna find a, something on YouTube to watch right now, a knitting podcast or something. Maybe, I think Homespun House, I'm on her Patreon, and I think that Molly has a new vlog up, so I think I'll watch that and find something on YouTube after that to watch. Will I finish drinking my water? and knit for a bit. I am anxious to get these done. 
so that I can cast this on. All right, so I'm all caught up on orders. I packaged up quite a few Somerset Camp prizes. Now I've even caked up my yarn, the Autumn and Indigo yarn for the Autumn Crush socks. Somebody's texting me. Um, I went on to IG Stories and put up a Ask Me Anything poll. Poll, not really a poll, question box. <laughs> so that people could submit their questions because I thought, you know what, I feel like I'm gonna get done a little bit before I kind of like need to head home for the day. So it would be fun to answer some questions. It's been quite a while since I've done an ask me anything or Q&A type thing. So I thought that would be fun to throw into the vlog. So I'm gonna pull those up. And I doubt that I will get behind, or get behind, get through. <laughs> My brain is always a little fried towards the end of the day. Um, get through all of them, but I will get through what I can and then I will save the rest for another video. Does anyone else in your family knit? So my sister-in-law used to knit. I don't think that she does anymore. My cousin knits. She's actually a sock knitter. Um, I think that's pretty much it for knitting. I have a lot of crocheters. I know my grandma said she has knit in the past, but I only ever remember her crocheting and cross stitching. So I don't know that it was like since I've been born or since I would remember <laughs> that she's been knitting. So yeah, my cousin and my sister-in-law used to, I should probably pester her and <laughs> maybe she'll start knitting again. Um, are you thinking about writing pattern for socks for babies? I don't have any plans to right now. I've been thinking about writing up just like numbers for a vanilla sock for kids. Um, I don't have any plans for like pattern socks though. If I do like a vanilla sock recipe type thing for kids, it won't be for a little while, but I'll never say never, but I don't have any plans to at the moment. Molly ask my top three favorite colors. Well, snazberry, is that a color? <laughs> I'm looking at my Jeep right now. That's my favorite color. Um, the name of the color is snazberry. Like a burgundy, maroony, whiny kind of a color. Anything within those families, <laughs> that, that family of color is my favorite like a Merlot or a red wine, Cabernet. You should sing a theme here, I like my wine. Purple, anything like that. Any surprises coming to the shop soon? I do have some things up my sleeve. Um, coming to the shop, yeah, some fun things. What set of interchangeable needles would you recommend for a new knitter? So I typically will always recommend Knit Picks. I believe that was the first interchangeable needle set that I had. I still have them. Um, occasionally I will use them. I have multiple interchangeable sets from Knit Picks. So yeah, I always recommend Knit Picks. They are so very affordable. If you're somebody who's starting out you know, you may not want to dive in and buy like extremely expensive needles <laughs> right off the get-go. You want to make sure you're going to like it. Make sure it's something you're going to continue doing. Um, yeah, Knit Picks is always what I recommend for those. What was it about knitting socks that you love it so much? Starting out, I think it was something that I'll actually wear. We lived in Arizona at the time and it was like, okay, we were in Yuma, Arizona, and it was way too hot down there. It was, you barely ever had days where you could wear sweaters, honestly, like knit sweaters. It just, it is so hot. <laughs> um, 
but socks were something that we could actually wear still. So it started out being like, okay, I'm, I'm able to knit something that we wear. We don't wear scarves here and things like that, but we will wear these socks. And then it just became, okay, these are so easy to take everywhere to just pick up and knit a few rounds on. They're so compact. I can put them in my purse, have them in the car, always have them with me. So that we wear them and that they were so compact and portable. Favorite foolproof sock pattern? My vanilla sock patterns. <laughs> That's my most used, the one I go to all the time. Um, if you're a new knitter, they're great. If you're an experienced knitter wanting to learn something new, they're great. They have tutorials with them. I have the tutorial, like the sections for the sock pattern. There's a timestamp in there so you can know exactly where you need to go within the video tutorial on YouTube for that section. They're just really great patterns. What is your go-to stretchy bind off for sweaters and other garments? So I love a sewn bind off. I do have a tutorial here on YouTube. I will try to remember to link that, um, but you can find it in the tutorial playlist if I forget to link it. The sewn bind off. It's super easy to do, fun, stretchy, and I love the finish to look of it. What have you tried to knit over and over until you finally had to give up? Shawl, sweater, hat, etc. Hmm. don't really recall anything. Maybe you guys that have watched for a while will remember something, but I've been like, yeah, I give up on that. I'm not going to do that anymore, but I don't remember anything off the top of my head. I'm not very good at answering some of these, I don't think. <laughs> I don't remember anything off the top of my head that sticks out that it was like, yeah, I'm done. I'm not knitting that anymore. I'm sure there have been things over the years. Um, but nothing is sticking out that I can think of. Are you doing the Stephen West Mystery Knit Along? I've seen quite a few questions about this. Yes, I am planning to do that. Um, I did talk about that a little earlier in the vlog and a lot of questions if I'll show my yarn for that, I will show it on the next podcast episode, but I did show it um, previously in my Instagram stories as well. What happened to Scrappy Sunday? It's still there. There's still Sundays every week and occasionally I will work on scrappy things. Sometimes I won't. <laughs> I just, 110% just do whatever I feel like doing or knitting or whatever the case may be and sometimes that's not scrappy stuff on Sundays and sometimes it is. Mostly I feel like I'll probably get more like back into scrappy Sundays during the winter months. We honestly aren't home a lot on the weekends. We are always on the go going for a drive in the Jeep somewhere to a Jeep event or to go explore somewhere like we were just always on the go on the weekends um and scrappy projects just really to me aren't my portable projects so maybe when the weather cools down the winter months i'll be home more and work on those more but yeah there's still scrappy sundays every week i just don't always work on scrappy things on them <laughs> When doing sweaters, do you interchange every few rows if using an Indie Dyers yarn? Yes, I do usually alternate every other round as I go with skeins. Who does a good collar work tutorial? I believe that Julie Twin Stitches Designs has some collar work tutorials on her YouTube, so I would head over and check her out. Have you ever done a German short row heel? Love your tutorials and struggled to find a good one for this. I have done a German short row heel in the past. Um, I've talked before about how no other heel that I've tried fits my foot like a heel flap and gusset. Um, I recently just got rid of a ton of socks, some that had German short row heels, some that had afterthought heels. I think I even still had one that had a fish lips kiss heel. None of those give me the depth and room that I need. So I don't knit them, so I'm sorry I don't have a tutorial um, for them. I know Mina Phillips patterns have German short row heels. I can't recall if she has a tutorial for them or not, but that was the pattern that I followed for a German short row heel. 
was Mina Phillips. <laughs> this one was funny, astrological sun signs for the fam and pets. I have no idea. That's not really something I ever pay attention to. I know I'm a Virgo just because that's me and I have just seen stuff over the years so many times, but yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> Are you going to get more socket to me rollers in as soon as I can? They are out of stock everywhere right now, like so many other things. Will you be doing separate larger needles and cables, 24, 30 inch and just needles? Maybe as we expand and go, I am still pretty small and just starting out um, trying to expand and add more things all the time as I can. But right now, what we have is what we're gonna have for just a while while we hopefully continue to grow and then more things will be added as we go. How many non-sock whips do you currently have and what are they? So I have two sweaters, quite a few blankets, <laughs> um, two shawls, two muscle burk hats, and I think that's it. One of the shawls I am going to frog though, it's my Pierre shawl, and then I'm going to start a cardigan with the yarn, but not for a bit. <laughs> what is your favorite Mumford & Sons song? Oh my gosh, I don't think I could ever pick a favorite. I love them all equally and so much. <laughs> yeah, I truly don't think I could ever pick a favorite. Um, 42 and Delta kind of get me every time because of memories with my sister Cassie from seeing the concert together. So those are two that kind of pop out in my mind, but I wouldn't say they're a favorite because like I said, I love them all. They are like my band. I don't know. Their songs just, I can't even explain it. I get goosebumps when I listen to their music. I just love it. Um, what do you like most about having an office space away from home? It has allowed me to set more boundaries, which has been so nice. I occasionally will still answer an email here and there <laughs> if I see something come in that's quick and easy for me to be able to answer, but it's allowed me to set more boundaries, which I think has really been good for me, for my mental health, for my family, to be like, okay, I'm at work right now, and then, okay, I'm at home right now. And I'm not running down to the office that was in my the basement to do something really quick or working super late. There's still days I'm here a little bit later, um, but it's allowed more boundaries. Weekends are weekends and that's time with family. Evenings are time with family. I've really been able to set boundaries and it's been super nice. Um, how do you deal with pain? I feel like I don't knit as much as you do and I'm already having pain. How do you manage or prevent from getting pain and what are your methods? Thanks. So I do still occasionally get pain um, and I, I knit pretty fast. I think people think that I sit and knit all day and I swear I don't. I just knit pretty fast and I make the most of every single second that I have time to knit. When I'm, like right now I should be knitting while I'm talking. <laughs> If I'm sitting down just for 10 minutes to watch Instagram stories or something, I'm knitting. If I'm sitting in the car line waiting to pick up a child, I'm knitting. If I'm in the car and Eric's driving, even if we're just going to the grocery store, which is not even 10 minutes away, I'm knitting. So I'm every single second that I can knit, even if it's one, two rounds, I pick up my knitting and I do that. And I'm not sitting and knitting all day. I really think that's what people think sometimes. And I get that because I do finish quite a few things and start quite a few things, but I really don't sit and knit all day. I'm just a fairly quick knitter and every single second that I get, and I think that's really it, is every free second that I get, I knit just two, three rounds, whatever I may have the time for. Um, but if I do have any pain or cramping, if it's bad, I'll stop for a while, take a break, stretch my fingers out. Um, frankincense oil is amazing for that. I just put some lotion in my hands, put some frankincense oil on, do that. I 
typically do that every night before I go to bed, sometimes in the mornings as well. Okay, where did you get your yarn storage? I think that was referring to what was behind me in the IG stories. That is from Ikea. How old were you when you started knitting? I started knitting about 13, 13 and a half years ago, I'm gonna guess. And I just turned 35. Uh, another question about the MCAL yarn I will show on the next podcast, like I said, I did share it a little while back on my IG stories from Mandy's Makings, one of her shawl kits. What's the story behind your tattoo on your wrist? Only one I have is my cross. No story, really. I'm a Christian. This was just something I always wanted. Yeah, no big, like, story or thing. It was just... Oh, sorry. I pulled up to see if there was any new questions. Um, do you do your socks from memory now? Do you still need a pattern? I do not ever have a paper pattern or anything for socks unless I'm doing a pattern. I did print out the Autumn Crush socks. But yeah, I don't. For my vanilla socks, no. I haven't used a pattern or anything for years. The knitting technique you would love to learn next. I have no idea. <laughs> None. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe steaking one day. I don't have any right now that I'm like, oh, I can't wait to do that or try that. So yeah, I have no idea. Uh, I had someone ask if I could show a picture of my sock drawer. I actually don't have a drawer um, for my socks. I have a couple. I've shown them in, it was the Vlogmas from last year. I think I showed them. I store them under my bed in they're actually Christmas ornament containers um, that I got at Walmart years ago. I have two of those. They were full before I went through and kind of weeded out socks that did not fit me because of the heels that I had used. But now I have room for new socks, so they're not full yet. Um, but yeah, I don't have a picture of them to include here in the vlog, but I did show it during Vlogmas, and I'll probably show it during Vlogmas again this year because I like to show the socks that I'm wearing, so would be fun to show those as well. How do you manage multiple whips? I can only do one thing at a time. Is that terrible? That is not terrible at all. 100% you do what you can handle and manage and it's not a competition or a compare yourself to someone else type thing. Everybody is different in life, opinions, knitting methods you 100 percent do you i don't think we should ever compare ourselves to anyone else um we should just do what makes us happy and what we are comfortable with i'm not bothered by a ton of whips occasionally i'll get the like okay you need to finish some things <laughs> bug but i'm not bothered by a ton of whips i just work on what brings me joy and what i feel like working on in the moment but if you are someone who that stresses you out, don't do it. Work on one thing at a time and focus on that, finish it, start your next project. 110%, you do you. All right, I think that's all I'm gonna answer for today. I will save the rest, I'll leave this up until it expires on um, Instagram stories. And I will save the rest for maybe the next vlog I do or something, we'll see. But thank you for those that put your questions in. If you ever have any questions, the best place to get in touch with me, if you have a question or something for work or you know, whatever the case may be, email, 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 email. <laughs> that is the best place. You can always find my email right down below this video. In my IG profile, I have an email button. You can just click on that. The email address is listed on the website or actually there's a contact us on the website that you can use that. Yeah, email is the best place to get in touch with me um, that I'll see and be able to answer. <laughs> so, okay, thank you guys for watching this vlog. A little bit interesting considering I didn't vlog any at home. That felt kind of weird today, but I just thought it would be fun to do just an office vlog again. I know that's the last vlog I did as well. And then do a little Q&A. 
at the end. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next week for a regular episode of the podcast where I will show my mystery knit along yarn because we will be getting close to the start of that on October 8th. So I'll see you guys again soon. Until then, happy knitting. Bye.